Okay, fellas, look, we're not doing this this season. I refuse to. We're not doing it. So the following players, you've pissed me off for the final time and you're going to Iowa. No, 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 look, I know it's harsh, but it's the only way you're going to learn. So Bacchus, Mears, Triantos, Sands, get out. You're going off. And I'll tell you what, Bedner, where are you, mate? Bedner, you better get your act together, mate, or you'll be going to Iowa as well, mate. Go, Cubs, go. Guys, the Mosey Villain, and welcome back to the Chicago Cubs. It is season five, episode three. Today, we are hosting the Colorado Rockies. They are a good team this season, and uh, we are becoming an increasingly average side. Not average, we're still top of the division, but we've only won half of our games since I saw you last. And no small part of that has been uh, the injury to what we had to Brandon Davis. Now, he basically got injured first game after I left you and came back yesterday in game. So you're not going to have noticed that he's gone, but we have missed him for a month. And we've just had a massive, massive lack of form from players as well, which is which is really, really hurting us. So uh, as I sort of went through there, we've dropped quite a few guys down to AAA. The, the team is still relatively strong. Um, but yeah, the form, as as you can maybe see on the graph here, it's it, we had a real dip. And we'll go through that just uh, just now. A couple of injuries. Christian Scott, who we saw last episode, he's had a day-to-day -day injury for a month. So I just put him on the uh, on the IL. I wasn't going to risk that getting any worse. And it's not like he's a crucial part of the team yet anyway. And uh, Julian is day-to-day -day for a couple of days. And he's also had a suspension, as we saw, for fighting last episode. But let's see how we've gone. Now, of course, we left off with this really good win against uh, the White Sox, swept that series. Uh, Philly then came to town. We won the first one and then lost the next two. Atlanta, we had a really good 7-0 win, then lost the next two, including an extra inning. Uh, we went to San Diego, only won one of three there. We Tampa Bay, we only won one of three there, though. An extra innings one, so maybe we should have got two points for that one. Um, then a crucial series against St. Louis. At the time, I think we were, they were either, it was half a game in it. I can't remember if we were ahead or they were ahead. But then we swept them. And we swept them in a series that we really needed to. And uh, that has basically kept us top of the division. But yeah, really, really happy with that. And you can see from the recent form, I was genuinely worried coming into that series. Uh, then we went to Pittsburgh. My worries returned. We lost the first two. Did manage to win game three of that series. Um, now in game one here, Bedner is becoming a problem. You can see they scored five runs in the eighth. And uh, we'll have a look at uh, at the pitching in just a second here. But it was, it was Bedner basically. He was pitcher of the year last season or reliever of the year, I should say. He had an ERA of under one. And if we go and have a look uh, down here, we can see he has uh he gave up probably more in runs in that game than he did all of last season era now is pushing eight now that is not good enough is it it really isn't uh we've made a change that he is no longer closing games you can see he's lost four blown six that's 10 games you could get you know forgive one two maybe three but 10 is just too many isn't it now, if we go over to June, uh, we won two of three in Toronto, so that's very good. Uh, we won two of three, two of four, sorry, against Cincinnati, which is which is what we need to do, even though it is at home. Ideally, we would have uh, won that series, but we did win another one in extra inning, which is nice. Uh, and then Colorado, we've split the series with them so far, including an extra inning win, so we are improving our form in extra innings. Uh, there was a big part of me that thought comeback for the for the Cardinals, but I like the home game, so we can do like the sound effects and stuff. It's uh, it's the showman in me that likes to do that but <laughs> there we go so that is that's how the games have gone now the standings we're still in a good spot you know we are still top of the division we're two games clear of the cards we are uh, well you can see there how far we are for everybody else it's just i really wanted to win 100 games this year we've obviously dropped way off of that pace not that we can't get it back but it's concerning nonetheless uh, if we have a look at the leaders now brennan davis has dropped off because he was injured and uh yeah there is no one else that is really doing it for us as of yet now it's not important that we do it this time of the season we need to be doing it in september october and the fact that we're still up there when players aren't maybe getting it done is good but you'd like to have a couple of guys that are leading the league in things so these are the pitching numbers now bedner he gave up six own runs last season he's given up 22 already this season now obviously last year was a phenomenal year you wouldn't expect that every year but that's a it's just bad this season. He's almost given up. He's given up more in runs than most of our starters have. So that tells you something, doesn't it? You'll notice Molina is back. He's come back into the number five uh, slot with the injury to Scott. Um, Chris Clark is also back. I've given Molina. Molina had one start that was good. 
So I've, I've left him as starter for now, but he and Clark are basically interchangeable, I think. The other change that we've made is uh, the DJ has moved into the starting rotation. He has been brilliant. We'll see him today. He's getting the start and... Well, I, I'm inclined just to leave him there for now because he has just done a very good job. Uh, Vargas is back to being our close-up. So let's hope that he uh, continues to do well. He was good there for us a couple of seasons ago. We've moved McLean into the uh, setup role and Bedner's just in middle relief now until he can show us that he's uh, worthy of anything more than that. Um, that's where he will stay. And I tell you what, he is so lucky he's not in Iowa right now. As for the hitters, um, it's 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 fine it's there's nothing necessarily wrong with it uh the changes uh casey has come in for mears who was just not doing particularly well and uh, kevin made back from his injury was he injured i think and triantos has dropped off so we've got made and swanson um our sort of defensive gems but you can see made's in a bit of a slump so i think uh rafaela might be at second base today i'm not completely sure bregman has been disappointing so far there's uh there's no way around that he's been a disappointment but Again, if he does it in the playoffs when we need him to, September, October time, then he's worth the money. We just need to, we just need to do it there, doesn't he? Julian says got a bit of a knock. He's been batting well since he came back from his injury. And uh, Vlad Jr., we were missing him for a couple about a week, I think, with a day-to-day -day injury as well. So uh, he's a little bit down on what he was doing last year, as is McQuaid. But again, it's the timing of it. it we're going to do it when it matters. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we manage to do that. All right, let's go and check these lineups as we host the Rockies. On your feet, Chicago, as we look to get the 100-game season back on track. At first base, it's Vlad Jr. At second base, it's Sadani Raffaella. At third base, it's disappointment, Alex Bregman. At shortstop, it's Dansby Swanson. In left field, it's Owen Casey. In center field, it's Pete Pro Armstrong. In right field, it's Brennan Davis. Your designated hitter tonight is William McQuay. Behind the plate, it's Moises Ballesteros. And your starting pitcher is the DJ, DJ Hurd. So the matchups look fairly even, you'd have to say. Um, hopefully we will come out on top. Sedani so Raffaella will lead us off at second base. It is Vlad Jr. batting second at first. It is McQuaid DHing at uh, three. Bregman cleans up from third base. Ballesteros catching at five. Davis in right field bat six. Petey Crow Armstrong in center field bat seven. Dansby Swanson, the Swan, is uh, batting eight at shortstop. Casey is uh, is in there at nine in left field. Now, that's because we're up against the lefty. He's a lefty. So, uh, yeah, that's why that's happening. The DJ is on the mound for us. Now, he's had 13 games. Not all of those are starts. Uh, 3-0 record, though. ERA of 169, a whip of just over one, and 11.9 strikeouts per nine inning. We're up against Mitch Bratt for them. He has a 1-0 record from two games, a 270 ERA and a whip of 135. So you would suggest from that he's not been a first choice for them, but he has done very well for them. And uh, they are a good side. They've got a winning record as well. They are right up there in their division. I think they're third, but they've got a bit of a nightmare division, don't they? So a lot of hitters in form as well, which is slightly concerning. But let's hope we can uh, extinguish some flames. All right, welcome to Wrigley. Now, I am going to try something today. We're going to have the pitch thing over here so we can see where pitches are. Uh, I don't know if that's actually going to disappear when uh, when the game actually goes in, so it may not be much use to us, but uh, we'll try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, uh, then it doesn't. If it disappears when we're going to see, you know, if a strikeout is a, is a strike or not, then it's not much use to us. But we've got the DJ on the mound. Uh, we've got Montgomery at the plate, and there's a ground ball. Swanson has it, and out at first. Nice start, one away. So, yeah, I'm, I don't, is there a way to... Can we make... I wouldn't mind if there's a way to make that stay when we go to this screen. I wouldn't mind it, but anyway, I'll leave it there for this game. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know, and we'll, we can get rid of it. Um, it's kind of unoffensive there, so if somebody likes it, I'll leave it there. I might as well just leave it there, to be honest, even if we don't actually look at it. Oh, I won't look at it. You guys might enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We have done a 1-2-3 inning. The DJ continues to have a fantastic season. And it is going to be Rafaela to lead us off, batting 284. Now, he's got his 100th Cub RBI since we saw him last. And uh, he's basically... Oh, i tell you what, he might have added to that. Sadani Rafaela has led us off with a home run. First pitch that they threw. And it's into the fans. It is 1-0. 
and Rafaela is, like I say, he's keeping himself in the lineup. I need to find a way to keep him in, and right now, that's at second base. Vlad Jr. will come in, batting 279 this season. He's notched up 250 career doubles since we saw him last, and he's drawn a walk there. And it will bring up William McQuaid, who has 500 career hits under his belt now, and that is not going to be one of them. In fact, it might be, it is a double play. Uh, we know he doesn't do great against the left-hander, but with Julian's injury, uh, he's kind of had to had to start this one. Bregman lines it straight to the shortstop. That'll do it, but Rafaela has given us a lead, and it will be DJ to face Benales, who is uh, batting 305 so far this season, a 1-1 pitch. And that is sliced away into left field. It is Casey that's there, and that is one away. It is Fernandez coming in now, batting 272 this season. A full count, a strike, and two away. All uh, right, it's Amar Amador. Amador, anyway, he's batting 269. It's a 2 2 pitch, two out, no one on, and the DJ notches up another. Sh oh, I love the DJ, I really, really do. He is actually a starter. We've just been using him out of the bullpen, but hopefully he can nail himself into the lineup as a uh, into the rotation, I should say, as Ballesteros leads us off with a double. Uh, I think Ballesteros at this point has taken over from Nido as first choice sort of day-to-day -day catcher. Obviously, you need a second catcher. In, you know, a catcher can't play every day, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Nido does actually stay in. We've got uh, Alien Do, of course, who's quite good. As uh, we get a strike out there for Davis, who is batting, I should have said, 342 before that at bat. Pete Crow Armstrong comes in. He has popped it up. And that will be two away with the runner staying at second. So can Swanson drive in a run? He's batting 246 this year, which is one of his better years, to be honest. And Swanson down the third baseline, and that will extend the lead. It is going to be 2 0 on the RBI double from Dansby Swanson. And it'll give Casey a chance to come up and have a bat with a runner at second. And uh, Swanson's injured on the play. We've had to take him out of the game. So I'm assuming Maid comes in. Yeah, all right. So it's not the end of the world. Swanson is becoming increasingly a big sick note. So he's on big money too. I think he's on 27 million. So he and uh, Alcantara can compare wallet sizes as they get their rehab done. As DJ starts off with another strikeout. Valer Val uh, Valera, I think that was, or Valera. Tova comes in now in a hot streak, batting 319. And that is a ground ball to the third baseman. Bregman over to Vlad. And that is two away. In comes Romo. Batting 223, two out, no one on, a 2-0 pitch, and a ground ball. Rafaela has it over to first, and that'll do it for that. They are scoreless, hitless through three, and let's see what Rafaela can do. Hit a home run, of course, to lead us off, an 0-2 pitch, and this time he strikes out one away. In comes Vlad, who walked first time around. Is he going to walk again with a 3-1? No, he pops it up into right field instead for two away. It'll bring up McQuaid. He is 0 for 1 today. Hit into a double play, of course, last time up. This time, he has crushed it in to left center field. It finds the Ivy, and McQuaid will find second base. All right, Bregman. Now's the time, mate. Now's the time. Can we drive in a run here? Bregman is 0 for 1 today. A full count. Bregman strikes out again. And that's his 40th strikeout of the season, apparently. And that is the end of the third. It is 2 0 Montgomery to lead them off. He is 0 for 1. And that is into deep center field. But Petey Crow is there at the track, makes the catch. And that will be one away for Zach Veen, who is 0 for 1 today. And it's a full count. And it is lined straight to Maid. And that is 2 away for Jellof. It's a great name. He struck out in three pitches. So. Uh, Good name, no uh, game, I suppose. And Ballesteros now, who is one for one. A one-two pitch. Ballesteros, this time he goes down into, uh, well, it was not really the first baseline, but uh, past the first baseman anyway. And it is a leadoff single for Davis, who's 0 for 1. Davis has popped it up, so that won't be getting anybody anywhere. That'll be one away. And Pete Pro Armstrong, 0 for 1, will come in. And he has ripped it into right field. Oh, what's happened there? He made the catch, a shoestring catch. Robbed, unlucky there. And Kevin Maid will come in now. He's in a slump, batting 241. And uh, in the game, of course, for, uh, for Dansby Swanson. But he's hit that into left field for a hit. So two out, two on 
for Casey now, who is 0 for 1 today. What can he do? He was doing really well in AAA, which is why we called him in. And Casey has... It's a home run, I think, is it? No, it's hit the fence on the full, has it? Either way, it's a 2RBI triple. It's, uh... Well, it looked like it hit up above the fence, did it not? Maybe there's a ground rule extra fence up there or something. But anyway, it's two runs either way. Can Rafaela drive in a third? He cannot, I would suspect. No, he can't. But we had two. It is four nothing. And uh, Casey, the hero on that one. Uh, Benales can come in now. He is 0 for 1. It's a 1-2 pitch. And that is into right field. Brennan Davis is there. One away. In now comes Fernandez, who is 0 for 1. It's a 1-1 one -one pitch. It is popped up again to Brennan Davis. And that will be two away. For Amador to come in. He is 0 for 1. Full count. Two out. No one on. And a walk. Oh, DJ misses. Now, that's, this is where this might be. Okay, so it was well low. Oh, wait, no. It was pitch 9. So it's only just low. Uh, all right. We have Valera. I feel like that's not how you say that. But I can't figure out. My brain is not working. This uh, I'm recording in the morning. So my brain is not working this morning. Anyway, that does it for the top of the fifth. Vlad, who is 0 for 1 with a walk, comes in. It's a 1-2 pitch. Vlad into right field. I don't think that's got the legs. Oh, it's another great catch out there by their right fielder. And McQuaid now will come in. He is uh, 1 for 2 today. It is a 2-2 pitch. And McQuaid strikes out. That is 2 away. I love the way like McQuaid feels like he's not good versus lefties. But really, he's just good versus lefties. He's not McQuaid versus lefties. As uh, Bregman draws a two-out walk. And it will bring in Ballesteros, who is two for two. And his perfect day at the plate ends there. And so does the fifth. So 4 nothing going into the sixth. DJ to face Tobar, who is 0 for 1. It's an 0-1 pitch. It's a ground ball. Made has it over to Vlad. One away. DJ to face Romo now, who is 0 for 1. A 1-2 pitch. DJ... Oh, it's into left field. It is over the top of Casey, and that will be at least a double. And uh, it is a first hit of the game for the Rockies. So not bad to go six. Uh, sorry, 5.1 before you give up a hit. And that'll do it now for DJ as Ethan Roberts comes in onto the mound to face uh, Montgomery, who is 0 for 2. It's a first pitch swing. It would be really nice if we could not have that run come in and count against uh, DJ. That is made to Vlad for two away. And can Roberts now get Veen, who has been a monster with the glove out there in right field. And thankfully, he's a bit of a mouse with the bat as he gets grounded out to first to end the sixth. So DJ goes 5.1. No one runs, one hit. That's a decent afternoon's work, isn't it? Castillo comes onto the mound for them. He has a 4.24 ERA this season. It's Davis, who I think is 0 for 2 today, and that may well become 0 for 3 as he pops it up into center field. One away for P.D. Crow Armstrong, who is 0 for 2. It's a 2-2 pitch, and he has popped it up into center field as well. That'll be 2 away, and it'll bring in Kevin Maid, who is 1 for 1 since coming into the game for Swanson. And he strikes out to end the 6th. To the seventh, Roberts will face uh, Jeloff, who is 0 for 2. It's an 0-2 pitch, and it is a strikeout for Ethan Roberts, one away. Benales now, who is 0 for 2. Another 0-2 pitch. Oh, Ethan Roberts, take a bow, mate. That is 2 for 2 in terms of strikeouts. In comes Fernandez. He is 0 for 2. It's a first pitch swing, and that is up the middle, pass made, and it will be a two-out single. And let's see if we can find a way out of this inning now. It is Amador, who is 0 for 1. And that is a ground ball to Rafaela over to first. And that ends the seventh. We stretch. We are 4 nothing ahead of the Rockies. Okay, welcome back. It will be Casey. That is, is that pronounced Casey? To, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. But obviously, I get names wrong more times than I get them right. Uh, that is up the middle. So Casey, after driving in two, has uh, got himself a leadoff single. And is looking every bit a nice replacement for um, for Mears, isn't he? In it comes Rafaela now, who is one for three. And they've tried to pick him off. Nice to see him paying attention there as well. And that is a double play ball if I ever saw one. But thankfully, maybe not quite hit hard enough. So it does get Casey over to second. 
and it will be Vlad now. He is 0 for 2 with a walk. It's a 3-0 pitch. Vlad walks again. So two on, one out for McQuaid to face all they put a lefty on. They know what they're doing. So it is uh, Menez coming on now. ERA of 567 for him. What can McQuaid do with him? A 2-1 pitch. McQuaid has hit it into center field. That's going to drop in. Everybody go. Everybody go. Is Casey going to score? No, it loads the bases. So Bregman now with a chance to be a hero. He is 0 for 2 today. Bregman strikes out. He's not really looking like he's worth the money. <laughs> Ballesteros loaded bases two out. This could blow the game wide open for us. And it is going to do so as he singles up the middle. And it should score two as Vlad rounds third. Comes home. It's a two RBI single for Ballesteros. It is six nothing. And it is Davis to the plate with two out runners at first and second. Davis 0 for three. He gets hit to reload the bases. And it brings in P.D. Crow Armstrong, also 0 for 3 today. And Pete Crow Armstrong, no, for a wonderful moment. I thought we were going to double figures. But it is caught in right field. So Roberts will face uh, Valera, who is 0 for 2. An 0 1 pitch. And that is gone off the bat. Never in doubt. It is 6 to 1. That is huge. Only his seventh, but 471, uh, 73 feet even. That almost deserves two home runs. Do another lap, mate. Do a victory lap. That was amazing. <laughs> what a hit. All right. Roberts to face Tovar now, who is 0 for 2. An 0 1 pitch and a ground ball made. Should have that. And that will be the first out of the eighth. In comes Romo, who is 1 for 2. It is a 3 1. Romo draws a walk. Looked maybe just outside, was it? Yeah just outside uh so new man now is chris clark just back from injury he's going to face montgomery who is 0 for 3 and let's see what clark can do he's got to pop up there into left field easy out there for casey one away two away even and it is zach veen who is 0 for 3 first pitch we hit him that's what you get for taking those catches out there mate this game shouldn't even be close if it was a normal man out there and uh, jelloff will come in 0 for 3 a 2-2 two -two pitch and Clark ends it in style, and we will go and bat for hopefully the final time today. And it will be made to lead us off one for two. It is a 2-0 pitch. Kevin Maid pops it up into center field, one away. In now comes Casey to face the new man, Jackson Cox. He has an ERA of 4-10. Casey is two for three, and it is an 0-2 pitch. And it is a second out as Casey strikes out for the 20th time this season, which is concerning. He hasn't been in the lineup for that long. Uh, Rafaela started us off with a home run. Can he finish us off with one as well? No, he can't. So we have five runs to play with. I imagine Clark will continue. He will. It's Benales. He is 0 for 3 to lead them off. A 1-0. And a ground ball. Made has that. No, he doesn't. He bobbles it. And it will be a leadoff single. So infield hit, it is Fernandez now who is one for three. He grounds it to the second baseman. We get one, we get the lead man. So one away. Amador now who is 0 for two. He strikes out, puts them down to their final out. Chris Clark is going to face Valera who is one for three. That one was the mammoth home run last time up for him. This time he strikes out and we have beaten the Rockies six to one in a very, very impressive performance. So I don't think there is any doubts the hero of that game out of the match was DJ Hertz. What a performance it was. Uh, his ERA now is 150. He has had nine starts in that time. And he is just, he's very, very good, isn't he? 26 as well. So still fairly young and just looks like he's going to, I mean, he could even lead the rotation if he keeps pitching like that, couldn't he? Absolutely wonderful stuff from the DJ. So that is a, another win. It is a two and a half game lead now over the Cardinals. We, of course, have a three-game series coming up against them now in St. Louis. And uh, it would be nice if we could uh, do a good job there. But we will come back after the All-Star break. It'll be Cincinnati. And hopefully we'll have a few. We should have All-Stars this season, surely. And uh, we'll have a nice lead at the top of the division. And we can uh, extend that with a win over the Reds. Until then, guys, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.